hey, for anyone who is interested, I've been messing with the um, Cutting Crew song. I just died in your arms tonight with uh, Kevin McMichael's awesome guitar tone that everybody's always wondering about how to make that killer tone. I've been messing around, and um, I'm not going to say that my way is perfect or anything like that. I may be way off. I don't know. But just by my ear, it's something similar to this. Um, basically, what I'm using, I'll show you right here. I'm using a Fender Strat, which he is, uh, in the videos, in a lot of videos, he's using some kind of a guitar. It's not a Strat, but it's got three single coil pickups. And so that really sharp cutting sound that you hear in that solo is um, those single coils uh, in the bridge position. I, I was able to look and see his switch, and he is playing the bridge position single coil, and you can hear that cutting, bah, bah, you know, in that song. So um, just real quick, I'm going to set my phone over here. Also, on the amp I'm using, because he supposedly used a Marshall, I'm using uh, this amp, a Marshall DSL-100. And um, uh, so now I'll get into the effects in a minute. First, I want to let you hear this uh, tone and hear if you, if you think it sounds similar. With the tone, not trying to be perfect on this, on everything else. But I think it solo goes something like this. But uh, it is something like that. Got that in it. Something like that. And again, I'm using a Fender Strat, a Marshall DSL 100 half stack. He supposedly used a Marshall, probably not a DSL, probably some lead or something, JTM or something like that. Anyway, for the effects, I am using a, and I'm going to try to shun this here. I'm using a, um, for one, I'm using some of the distortion from the DSL, but um, it's like a medium. Well, I won't say it's medium. It's, it's pretty cranked up. So let me see real quick. I'll show you. The DSL settings, it's on the ultra gain setting, and the gain is about half. There's my EQ settings, if you're interested in that. The mid-range is dipped just a little bit. Uh, treble is way dipped, because Marshalls are so cutting anyway. And uh, that's kind of where I am there. So let me get back here without making you all seasick. And um, my effects, I have a noise gate for the guitar going in. Um, which I always do two noise gates, one in the input and one in the effects loop. That way neither one has to work too hard and it, it really cuts all the noise. Anyway, in the effects loop, I have a Zoom G3. And let's see here, the effects that I'm using, there's my noise gate. I'm using a chorus. 
with the rate at about 16 and the depth at about 53 and the mix at about 22. And it could probably do okay with a little more chorus in it too. It might sound okay. Um, then over here, at this delay, I've got the delay set at 100 milliseconds, the mix at about 45 and feedback at zero. And then, let's see, I've got a little bit of hall reverb on it. Nothing too crazy. A little bit of hall reverb. And uh, I believe that's about it. Yeah, that's what I've got. So um, a little bit of chorus and some delay. That delay has to be just perfect. Uh, you know, the, well, I won't say perfect. It's probably got about a uh, 10 millisecond uh, fudge range in there that you could still sound pretty good on it. But I tried it at really, really low settings, like at 45, 50, but it just didn't have that slap back. And uh, so at 100, it sounded pretty good. And it's got that. And I'm going to, again, I'm going to try this again and let you guys kind of hear. Again, this is nothing but just for guitar nerds like me who hear a certain tone, especially on these 80s albums. And um, you just love it. And you're just like, man, how did he get that? And that's what I've come up with. So I turned that chorus up just a little just then, and it sounded a little better with a little more chorus. have to dial it in and mess around with it but I feel like that is what is going on in that song the solo type stuff it's just out of B a bunch of minor type stuff <laughs> and that sounds like a B uh, blues uh, scale or like B minor pentatonic but it's definitely playing in a B minor thing <laughs> Again, I'm not saying this solo is perfect. I'm just trying to give you an idea of the tone. Anyway. I hope that helped you a little. It sounds like I could take some reverb out of that and probably still sound really good, which I'm going to do right now, actually. But anyway, um, I hope that has given some of you guitarists out there a little something to go by. And it's just me experimenting. It could be totally freaking wrong. So, but anyway, hope you have fun with it. <laughs>